and it ain't okay, my God, got she ass out of the rock. Why clap, man, the God supreme. I come from Brooklyn, but I love Queens. Put your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. And if you're ready to rock with Wack Clef Jump, somebody say, oh yeah. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Give yourself a round of applause. All right, my story's gonna be quick because we got a lot of people. I come from Haiti, and I ran for president of my country. I came to America when I was 10 years old. I wasn't even born in the projects. I was born in a hut. Real talk, homie. I used to take a donkey to school. It's funny, but it's real, you feel what I'm saying? Check this out, sometimes when I needed water, I had to walk for miles to get the water. By the time I got to America, I felt like I was rich, homie. By the time I got to the projects, where I could get clean water, can afford some sneakers, I felt like I was rich. Half of my family, Locked up. The, uh, the other half is us. We got out. I became a rapper. My other brother, he from the hood. He became a lawyer. So, it's really important that you understand why education is important. Education is important because anything that you're trying to do in life, if you can't read, you can't write, you can't understand, they're gonna always trick you. 75% of us is under incarceration. And I'm looking at y'all right now and y'all what I call the future of the world. Y'all the future of the world. Like, I'm looking at y'all, I'm seeing like 200 Obamas in here, you know what I mean? What I say you? Shout out to the Haitian Sakpase Nambune. Yo, listen, if you, where my Latin people at? Latinos, Latinos. Yo, y'all know I wrote that song for Shakira, right? How many of y'all like Shakira? Yeah, I like Shakira too. Her hips don't lie. Yo, when you come to this country, even if English is not your first language, Sometimes you might have it tough when you go to school, you know? But it's very important to understand that America is the land of opportunities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it real with y'all. And how many people know Michael Jackson? All right? I've been in the studio with Michael Jackson. How many people know Whitney Houston? I've been in the studio with Whitney Houston. How many people know Beyonce? I've been in the studio with Beyonce. Now, everybody that I'm telling you, I wrote a hit song for each of them, and I can keep going and keep going. So what I'm gonna do is, how long I got? Five minutes, four minutes, five minutes. I'm gonna do my own Q&A, two minutes. So what I'm gonna do is, anybody got a question, I'm gonna come from the crowd, just take like three important questions, get them the mic, Y'all can Instagram me from the crowd if y'all want. Um, aren't you in the studio with Flat Out? Go ahead. Aren't you in the studio with Flat Out working on the project? Yeah, definitely. Right now we just dropped the mixtape. The mixtape is called yeah. April Showers. And it's uh, you can get the mixtape on that piff. Everybody's on the mixtape. But more importantly, the idea of coming back and doing a mixtape, it got 33 songs and half of the mixtape is all new artists. My whole goal is artist development to discover new acts. You What's your advice? advice? My advice, my advice to anybody trying to make it in music and art, 
Originality is important. You know what I'm saying? Yo, check it out. I came into business, I was 16 years old, my homie. I'm like 42 right now. And I'm still getting money, you understand? So it's important for you to have originality. Uh, How are you gonna make a song with Drake? Oh, I love Drake, that's my man, Toronto Gang Stand Up, real soon. You look like Drake a little, a little. Uh, I mean, can't diss that side, though, go ahead. What inspired you to... Shh. What inspired you to run for president in your own country? I ran for president of my country because the bottom line is, at the end of the day, you got to live for your people, you know what I mean? So you can't just be making money thinking it's all about money because you can't take the money with you to the grave, you understand? The most important thing in life is to respect people. So it's like at the end of the day, if you're from a hood, you got to be able to go back to the hood where you're from and inspire the youth. That's the most important thing. Yes, sir. Hold on, hold on. He's a scholar. What up? What is the greatest challenge you faced in your career? Well, you know what?